it's nice being back in Chicago. I mean, we love coming out to the Midwest. We've got a lot of clients here, so it's nice for us to be able to bring our program here to the city. This is a Kimber Smith. He's an artist that we've just, he's deceased, but we've just begun working with the estate. And um, he's a second generation abstract expressionist. Uh, this work is from the 1970s. We're about to do an exhibition of his work that's coming up in the fall. Chicago is a great town and it's a great art town. There are people that are very savvy collectors and I've noticed so far today there are people just getting into collecting as well. So it's uh, people are extremely nice and there's lots of terrific material and it's a great fair to be at. This is the work of Karen Gunderson who's a New York based painter and she's been painting with black paint for 19 years. So, as you can see, it's black, but what she's really painting with is the light. And they're very, very dimensional, um, but they're flat. They're very successful um, in terms of being accessible, but they're sophisticated at the same time. Here at Art Chicago, we're showing four artists, Martin Mull, Henry Wessel, Tommy Stockel, and Vic Muniz. Vic Muniz is the artist who's right here, and his work is almost always uh, referencing art history in some way, and usually creates something that, that he then photographs, the photograph being the end result. So in this case, um, this is his new series, Pictures of Paper, and it is after an image by Dorothea Lange, a photograph that she did, he made a collage of that photo, a small collage using the gray scale, and then he photographed that, and then what you're seeing is basically a photograph of a collage of a photograph. <laughs> it's always great to show the work of artists that you are very passionate about. Chicago is different, and one of the reasons that we do the fair is that as being from Minneapolis, you want to show that we have sort of a Midwest alternative to the art craziness, all the parties, all the she-she gatherings, it's sort of art for social state. And here it's the Midwest version of what a, an art fair should be. I think Chicago is a great city and it's somewhere that there's a real history of collecting. It's not about, it's about love of art, not love of making money out of art. And you have a huge catchment area within an hour and a half, really, of here of major cities with, with interesting and, and vibrant museums, and you have particularly vibrant museums, and it just is a, a logical place, and I think that it could easily become the sort of premier art fair location. We always love coming to Chicago. We have a lot of great clients here, a very receptive audience. Uh, there's a lot of great collectors, and uh, you know, it's a real positive atmosphere here. I think people really are, respond, and uh, it's everyone's so friendly in Chicago. This is the Marina Towers, which everybody knows, <laughs> and uh, Michael's signature is the architecture of density, which he sh is the name of a series he did in Hong Kong also, where you don't see the sky or the sides or the bottom, so the impact of the density is really hits you, and in this series, he's actually reached out to start looking in the windows a bit. So you, it's not just the architecture, it humanizes it, and you actually become the voyeur when you get up close and you can see in the windows and there's actual real people living in these buildings. So this is Sebrin Versteeg who uh, actually went to school in Chicago and began his life as an artist in Chicago. And what you're seeing is uh, a new media piece done on a computer. As you can see, I'm playing with what seems to be a touch screen. It actually works in a similar manner. And these images are arrived at from a, a download of an of a internet uh, dictionary, which randomly selects names, and Google supplies the image to go with it. And, and Sebrin wrote the program that also paints on it, but, but arranges the, the images in a very uh, aesthetic manner. So he actually taught a computer how to arrange, how to compose, essentially.